Hey guys, I wanted to come on to you uh, real quickly and speak to my vloggers, bloggers, and models. Um, two days ago, I read an article, um, I will link it below, about Monique saying that, I think she has a, a essay coming out in the Daily Reporter or something like that, about um, since she won the Oscars, uh, she hasn't worked. Uh, she was considered blackballed. And... Um, one of the things that uh, she was told by Lee Daniels was, girl, you didn't play the game, you know, as far as promoting, um, going for appearances, going to appearances and doing your networking and whatever she had to do during, you know, Oscar season uh, five years of, ago for her. Now, I read the article and it got me to thinking, and it just so happened that tonight is the Academy Awards. Um, her, her stance was, hey, I have a, at the time her talk show was running simultaneously with the, um, Oscar buzz and all of that that was happening for her. And her thing was, why leave my, um, job, my home, my family, if you're not paying me to do so? And we can stand firm on that, um... You know, cliche, like Sweetie always say, who I love, uh, Miss Sweetie, if it doesn't make money, it doesn't make sense. Yes, guys, um, we all want to be paid. We all want to be compensated for our worth, you know, and I'm a firm believer in knowing your worth. And um, can you see my eyes? Knowing um, your worth and knowing what you're worth so you can not be uh, abused and used. Now, my point in making this video, guys, is kind of twofold. I don't want to give my opinion really on Monique uh, because I know it's going to come with a lot of flack and people leaving, uh, telling me I'm so I'm so wrong, like, like I can't have an opinion. But um, I'm just coming on to hopefully I can be helpful to models, bloggers, and vloggers. Now, if you blog or vlog, guys, it's expensive. It's expensive to blog and vlog. I don't care if you're giving stuff and you're giving product. We are putting a lot of money out of our pocket to enhance the items and the things that we are giving. So it's it's expensive. Anybody who says blogging is, is, is going into blogging because they want free product, you're in the wrong. Don't do it. Don't do it. Um, I'm doing what I'm doing now because I'm passionate about it. However, my passion may change a month from now, two months from now, because I'm constantly, like I said, evolving. Um, I don't have much time, so let me make this quick. Um, now, like I said, Monique, yeah, that, that makes sense to say that, and it sounds good, and people who are about the almighty dollar would be like, right, girl? I mean, don't leave your house, they ain't paying. I want to say, as a model, guys, some of my best jobs, my best gigs were non-paying gigs. Um, a lot of jobs I've worked for, guys, I work for magazines and stuff where I got the, the tear sheet. The tear sheet is gold in the modeling world, guys, and that has enabled me to snare paying jobs by having my great tear sheets. A lot of stuff, guys, I, as I said, I worked as a fit model for years and years. You're never going to see me in print or anything, but I'm being paid extremely, have been paid extremely well for that. Fit is one of the most well, highest paid, um, 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 avenues in the um, modeling world, which is which is so untapped. But however, listen, my thing is this, guys: be very careful with standing firm on something that will hurt you in the long run. Okay, and this is obviously hurt Monique Lee Daniels. Um, it goes on in the article, and I'll link it below. Like I said, goes on to say, "Girl, you didn't play the game. You were blackballed. You didn't you didn't do what you were supposed to do." Now, I don't understand why Monique wouldn't want to go and network with people who can maybe possibly wish she could snare her, her next gig, her next movie role, her next wonderful role. Those are the people you want to be around. And as we read, guys, leaving out of the gift suites alone, you leaving out with thirty and $50,000 worth of stuff in your gift bag, Chanel, uh, uh, glasses and all this stuff. And by the way, guys, when I look down, I'm looking at nothing. My brother said, why are you always looking down? I don't have no notes. I come on raw uncut and honest so i don't i'm not look i just happen to look down i'm not looking down at anything um so as i say yeah guys now 
Okay, let's let's. I don't say that about yes. You should. If some, if a magazine, a fabulous magazine, asks you to shoot for them, uh, yeah, you should find a way to shoot for them. And if they ain't paying, they ain't paying. You getting them tear sheets though, okay? To put in your book in your portfolio as a model. But however, guys, I want us vloggers and bloggers to know. Some of you guys, you hair bloggers and you makeup gurus on here, y'all, y'all the business. Y'all are, as they say, the ish. Y'all ain't no joke. And I want y'all to know your worth, okay? If some of y'all, I hope, I don't know your situations, but no, you shouldn't be getting just product at this point. You shouldn't be just getting free uh, clothing at this point. You should be getting compensation because your numbers and your following says that, you know, they're, they're basically doing a commercial with you guys. When we do something, when we're vlogging and blogging, we're basically doing an unpaid commercial for the company. And some of you guys are doing these videos that are so uh, high tech and you know the, the cameras y'all got and everything you are doing an actual commercial commercials in the industry guys commercials cost about how I'm talking about like fifty thousand dollars a hundred thousand dollars to put together a team that can pull off a commercial okay so you're doing a commercial for them for free so yes you have to be you should be compensated and I'm talking about you guys I'm not going to name any names but you know who you are you really fabulous um, hair bloggers and beauty bloggers makeup and all of that y'all are fierce and I hope y'all getting compensated that's all I could say now if you're going into blogging or vlogging because you want free product you're in the wrong you, you don't do it don't do it guys because it's expensive you're going to be putting stuff money out of your own pocket i know i do i don't care if someone gave me something for free i'm using my own shoes my own this my own that to enhance it and make it appealing for you for the company okay so now as an example in my experience because i talk from experience guys some of my best jobs have been because i took a free gig one of the biggest um plus size retailers that's out here now that I did campaigns for, I did three fashion shows for them for free before they noticed that she's a great model, she can move in front of the camera, somebody, a director was on the set, and they said, hire her for the campaigns. First, that even before I got the campaign status, I did the internet, I did the web, the website. Then they hired me as a uh, campaign model, which is the in-store posters. So, you have to make a decision that a smart decision on standing firm on that, oh, I got to be paid. I got to be paid. Now, you and your heart know when you're being used. If you are just getting constantly called over and over again and somebody's just offering you an outfit, don't do it. My advice is to you, don't do it. You don't want to be looked at as a wannabe model, okay? Um, some bloggers and bloggers, they're very happy with just being compensated by product, by some makeup, by um, um, having the latest stuff before anyone else. And they're doing it for their passion, and they don't want compensation. That is their compensation, just working closely with the company and um, getting the product and reviewing it. Um, I'm on here, like I said, because I'm passionate at the moment about plus, um, the plus, you know, I mean, I've always been plus industry might change a year from now. I don't know what I, what I'll be passionate about because I'm constantly evolving. But my thing is be passionate about what you're doing as well. I also instill that in my children. My children don't do anything except go to school that they don't want to, is that's the only thing they do that they have to do. But other than that, their uh, my kids decisions to that what the passions they pursue are their passions not my passions um like anybody who knows my oldest son was a very popular little kid chef he decided he wasn't going to um he still cooks all the time, but he didn't have time for his basketball uh, took priority over that. But I'll get into that another time. The, the thing is this. I'm talking to my vloggers and bloggers and models. Guys, draw the line when it comes when it becomes ridiculous, when people are using you and abusing you, okay? When you are doing constant, y'all got these elaborate, fabulous cameras doing commercials for people. That's what it is. You know, you're doing a commercial for them, and commercials are, like I said... 
it costs money to pull together a team to do a commercial. And you're basically doing a commercial for them for free. So you do want some type of compensation for what you're doing. And I want my models to be careful, guys. Be careful taking jobs over and over again. And you don't want to be that girl that they always call that they don't have to pay. Okay. Um, that girl is looked at as a uh, less than model, a wannabe model, um, just want to be in the mix model, okay? I don't want that to happen to you. Um, so, but as far as my opinion, and I wasn't going to give it on Monique, Monique, I would have been there with bells on, what, mingling, hey, what, what, hey, how you doing, what, uh-huh, mm. I would have been, yes, I would have been, as Lee Daniels said, playing the game. Playing the game because, uh, Monique, your, your talk show was, 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 was BS. I mean, all that yelling and screaming you were doing, I wasn't checking you for you for that talk show. Maybe other people were. It was too much. Um, I would have been there trying to hopefully hook up with someone where I can read for my next fabulous job. And I, and, and I just think it was a bad decision all around. Bad decision decision Monique and like I said if you want to leave your opinion please do but know that if it's different from mine it's just different from mine I'm not going I'm not a one to go back and forth with nobody okay <laughs> over nothing um so anyway yeah vloggers and bloggers guys let's be careful know your worth know your worth guys know your worth but make smart decisions make make smart decisions okay other than that I'm out I gotta go make a mac and cheese uh her request, mac and cheese, and what else? Uh, peach cobbler. So I got to go to the store. Sunday, getting ready to get um, comfortable for the Oscars, the Academy Awards, and um, see y'all later. Peace out. TheShoppingSlayer.com. www.theshoppingslayer.com, guys. Have y'all been to my site? That's where y'all should go because that's where I'll be posting crazy, crazy, mad stuff. And, um, yeah, and you ain't going to see it if you just follow me on Instagram or whatever. So, anyway, talk to you later. Bye. Real talk.